Even though I didn't really go anywhere. I was just dealing with like the death of a family member, shitty work situation, a little bit of depression sprinkled on top, and yeah, here, I'm, <laughs> here I am. Um, but no, I'm feeling, I'm feeling good. I'm feeling like the moment has passed for now and I'm happy to be recording again and making a video again. So in this video, we're gonna go over my first year on YouTube, my first year making and working on this channel that you guys have been tuning into despite my best efforts. <laughs> yeah, needless to say, it's been a kind of crazy year. I have achieved a lot more than I thought I was able to, to be totally honest, and not as much as I wanted to in the same, same vein. So um, yeah, we're gonna go over the highs, lows, the things that I wish I did better, the things I'm going to do better, and kind of where I'm really gonna take the channel in the future. And at the end, I'll talk about if I was to start a channel today, then how would I do it? What would I do differently? All right, let's start off on a high note with the high, the things that I'm like really hyped on. We were able to grow, uh, we, I, you, me, we're able to grow the channel. We're closing it on 600 subs in this first year, which I know by YouTube standards is not a lot, but for me, that's exciting. That's really awesome. It's it's 600 people that like I think are really watching the videos and are hopefully resonating and wanting to come back and see more. So if that's you, if you're one of those subs, then like, thank you. That means a lot to me. Like, it it's weird thinking about it in the context of like, 600 people in an auditorium coming to see me, right? Like, that's crazy. <laughs> that's insane to think about. I think another really big high was like seeing a couple videos pop off here and there. I think my three books you should get instead of going to art school video, I think that just passed 16,000 views, which is, you know, insane for me, especially because it popped off when I had less than like 300 subs. So that's amazing. And hopefully I can recreate more videos like that and just keep building on that going forward. I think another really big high for me was like the, the engagement. It was seeing familiar accounts commenting over and over again. It was having a lot of really great comments, like people asking questions or just like saying thank you. That means a lot. Like, I don't know, I was kind of coming into it expecting a lot of like negativity overall and it has been overwhelmingly positive as opposed to like what I was thinking. So like that has been a real light, especially because all you hear about on social media is like the negative comments and there's like been very few comments that like I've had to remove. Watch, now that I say this, it's just gonna be a shit show, but We'll see how that goes. Um, but no, seriously, like I think that people have been really engaging in a meaningful way and that means a lot to me. So thank you. And I think the other really big high was the first like brand partnership, first collaboration with a brand and getting paid to make a video. And that was the X Tiles video I did um, maybe a month or so ago at this point. I'm always in the mindset that like I'm someone's trying to scam me into making shit for them. But no, it was it was super genuine. It was a great interaction. Um, I really liked working with them and I really liked the product. So it was, it was a great fit and I got paid and I got paid to make a YouTube video. Like that's, that's crazy, right? It's something that I've been doing for free for so long and I'm going to continue to probably do it for free at this point. That was amazing. That was like probably like the highest high. Okay. So I think for me, when I talk about the lows, it really, the only low point is when a video that I'm excited about doesn't do well. That's the only thing that kind of bums me out about this whole social media, YouTube, like, game, right? Like, you know, I don't really care about negativity. I don't really worry about other people's opinions on me. But when I put effort into something, when I spend time working on something and I'm happy about it, I'm excited about it, I think I've just kills the momentum when the garbage truck goes by. All right, they're gone. Where was I? Yeah, like just when you're making a video and I, when I put a lot of effort and time into it and it just gets 100 views, no comments, 
zero likes. It's so fucking deflating. It sucks. It like, no matter how prepared you are for something like that, like it feels like shit. And you know, that's okay. Like it passes, you, you make the next video, you move on, whatever. But it just, it, you know, it always just feels like, damn. So I would say moments like that are like the biggest low that I've had as part of like being on YouTube, right? It's just not seeing something do well the way that I had hoped for it. And maybe the, the trick and the key is to just like not have any hope. <laughs> maybe I just need to not have any hope and then everything will be great, right? No, but I think, I think letting go will be helpful for me going forward, you know? In terms of like aspects of content creation that were actually challenging to me as opposed to like just, you know, deflating. I, I did and I still do struggle with title and thumbnail, title and thumbnail. I think that like, it's weird to say that I struggle with it because it's literally the most important part of YouTube, right? The title and the thumbnail. Every single person, every single creator that makes a video on YouTube says that that is like what you need to be spending at least a third of your time on. And I don't know if I've gotten there yet and I think I need to. So I'd say that is like the most, been the most actual challenging part of like the whole video making process. Okay, let's talk about growth. Let me actually pull up my channel, let me pull up YouTube Studio on my laptop and then we can take a look at the numbers together. Alrighty, so I am on my YouTube channel. Let's go to the analytics and great. I'm just gonna switch this to lifetime. So you can see like lifetime, not crazy like at all like you know you've probably seen video where like a channel talks about popping off or like when their growth like really took off and it's just like this kind of graph that just goes straight up after like a long period of inconsistency i am still in that long period of inconsistency but i mean thirty-eight thousand views overall 991 watch hours and plus 594 subscribers like i'll take that that's amazing <laughs> there's more than i thought i would ever do you know there's a lot more impressions than i thought like 743,000 people like saw my title and thumbnails and 2.5 percent click through so that means that i need to like this is the area to work on, right? This is the area to like optimize. And that goes back to what I was saying about the title and thumbnail being the most important because I'm being pushed out to way more people than are clicking on my videos. And that could be like, you know, there could be a lot of, di a lot of different reasons for that, but I want to try and close that gap as much as possible. And that is really going to be my goal over this next year. Put this down. And we're going to talk about money. <laughs> we're going to talk about how much I spent on the channel this year versus how much I have made. It's not going to be a shocker that I've spent more money than I've made. Really, you know, the camera was an expense, but I'm not going to count that because I am a photographer and I use this camera for more than just YouTube. There are two things that I specifically pay for for the channel, and that is Canva and Artlist. Canva to design everything is a lot easier to make like nice thumbnails and everything in Canva than it is in InDesign or After Effects and things like that. Like that's if I'm doing shit from scratch and if I have a lot of time in my hands. And then Artlist, Artlist so that I can play music and sound effects um, and not get my channel taken down. So two, two really important things that I think are still necessary but do cost money. So let me just pull up those numbers real quick. That took way longer than I, than it should have. Um, I spent $239 between those two subscriptions on the channel. And then what I made, right? That's going to look like Gumroad sales, affiliate links, and then what I got paid outright for doing the X tiles video. 
that total is gonna come out to $231. $8 in the red. Not not too shabby, not too bad. You know, I, I work a full-time job, so like $8 over the course of a year on a hobby could be a lot worse. <laughs> There's people that spend a lot more money on a lot of dumber shit for their hobby. So what do I learn and how can I do better? This part is essentially gonna be the, if I was starting a YouTube channel today, this is how I would do it portion of the video. <laughs> but I hate that, I hate that hook, so that's why I didn't go with it. What I learned is that it pays off to be consistent, to be putting out a video every week is something that I wish that I committed to, but I spread myself too thin. I was doing the channel, I was doing the podcast, I was trying to do other like social media, art, work, relationship, full-time job, start a business, everything under the sun. I was spread way too thin. So if I was starting over, I would dial like everything back and I would just focus on making one video every week for a year. And that's what I'm gonna try and do going forward, is just be more consistent and put out more content consistently over a year so that I can explore more. That's something else I feel like I didn't do enough with my first year on the channel, and that is like explore all different types of videos and content types that I wanted to. So I'm definitely gonna be doing more of that this next year. I think spending a lot of time on title and thumbnail is gonna be extremely helpful. In the beginning, I wish I spent more time understanding hooks and intros, and that's definitely something that I'm gonna improve on going forward. Again, like I'm, I'm gonna work on like just categorizing it, throwing it all in my Notion so that I have all these things to reference back to. Definitely hooks and intros, title and thumbnail, like essential, essential parts of the video, which I don't even know if I did this one right, because I started off by introing that, like, I've been having a rough time. <laughs> There's no hook there. No, that's just, that's me. That's real. That's how I am. And I think that's the best advice that anyone can get. Just putting the reps. That's like, to master a craft, like social media, to master your, any kind of craft, anything that you're doing, right? They talk about putting in your 10,000 hours, right? becoming that an expert at it. And it's the same with art, right? We spend, as an artist, as in art school, I spent all my time in the studio making art. I spent a lot of time in the darkroom printing the same thing over and over again until I got it perfect. And that is, that repetition it is like the human way of achieving perfection. Like that's how we do it. We just, we do it until our fingers bleed. We do it until we pass out and then we are, perfect at it, perfect. But then we're able to do it at a really high level over and over again, and it doesn't take as much effort at that point because we're, we're so ingrained in doing it. And that's what I think that this should become for someone who wants to do this for a living, for full time or to replace their income, right? I didn't do that. And I wish I did more of it. I'm, I'm happy I didn't like burn myself out. I was, because I started this after coming off of a really intense burnout. And I think it would have been too much and I would have just stopped. And then I would have felt even shittier. And if you're watching this and you're like, I don't care about that at all, just give me good videos, just let me know. Say it in the comments, drop a comment below. Let me know if like what I'm saying is is making sense, if it's resonating with anyone, like if it, if it just sounds like the ramblings of like an insane person who's spent way too much time on YouTube. <laughs> Cause there's a good chance that that's probably the case at this point. Going forward, not much is gonna change. I'm still gonna make videos, but I've really been coming to terms with what I want the channel to be. And like, you know, at first I wanted it to be like an art channel. And then I kind of was like, uh, it's like, soft pivoted to like productivity and SaaS stuff. But really like my ultimate goal for this channel is for this to be like the building blocks of my personal brand for, for me, for me to make fun videos, for me to try new things and share them with people and um, share like my journey, quote unquote, for lack of a 
less cheesy term. Like I wanna share what I'm up to, what I'm doing, what I'm learning. I wanna share the books that I'm reading, the software that I'm trying out, the productivity methods, how I'm dealing with like challenging aspects of my life, both professionally and personally. I wanna share creative stuff. So it's all gonna be here, right? It's, that's me. That is, that's me as Dan and me as Infinite Prototype. Like that is just who I am and those are the kind of videos that I'm gonna make. And it's all gonna fit together because I'm gonna just be sharing my personal self with you along the way. And I hope you like that. I hope you fuck with that. And I hope you stick around for that because I feel like it's gonna be really fun and different from, you know, a lot of other people in this vein out there. All right, that was enough rambling. That is my my first year on YouTube, really recapped, you know, grew a lot, I learned a lot. There's so much more areas to improve on. There's so many more exciting videos that I'm gonna make and I'm stoked to be sharing that and putting that out with the people that have been here and the people that are yet to come. So thank you. If you're watching this long, I appreciate you. And you know, you know make sure to like, comment, subscribe, do all that, boost the channel, lets me know what I'm doing is working, lets me know that you appreciate the type of content that I'm putting out, and thank you. I'll see you in the next video. Peace.